the second Sunday of Advent, December 9. Once upon a time, there was a king who wanted to rule his kingdom by knowing his people, their life struggles in detail. So he wanted to travel around the whole of his kingdom. And sometime he wanted to travel into the forest. He had his travels and came back and he was feeling so tired. He was having pain on his leg because the roads were so hard and stony. The walking was very tough. As he came back, he called his ministers and told them that they should cover the whole roads with skin of animals so that the walking will be easy, the stones and thorns will not hurt the legs. His ministers were so much surprised because they didn't know how much amount of uh, animal skins they will have to have to cover the whole roads and awful lot of money will have to spend on that. So one of his counselors was a bit smart, dared to tell the king, Oh my dear king, why should we go for this kind of uh, extra exorbitant expenses? Why don't we make a good cover with nice leather around your legs and make it a kind of a shoes for you and you walk and that opened the inner eyes of the king and he was surprised and accepted to do that. Often this is what is happening in our lives. We find the world around us very tough. People doing evil, wickedness, killing, plundering others. And we find that only if the whole world changes, we can live good or do anything good. This is what the thinking of the king was. The whole world has to be covered with leather then you can walk. But the intelligent counsellor gave him a kind of a meaningful advice telling that why don't you cover your legs properly and begin to walk. Why don't you change rather than the whole world changes which is more practical, which is more effective, which is more conducive and which is possible in our life. This is what John the Baptist tells us in today's gospel. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make the hills and valleys leveled. Prepare the way of the Lord doesn't mean that Messiah's road has to be leveled. The whole creation is Messiah's world. What we have to level is our hearts, our thoughts, our attitudes, our choices, our decision making. From the prompters, pompous thinking and also from the desperate disappointments, our thoughts, our feelings, our activities, our attitudes should be leveled to receive the Messiah. We have to change our own selves. That's why St. John the Baptist told his listeners, those who have more than one cloth, share it with others. Those who have more food, share it with other people. It's only by sharing your love with others, you will be able to accept the Messiah into your heart. So that is a leveling the ground, leveling the roads of the Messiah, leveling the roads of our hearts so that 
there is an equanimity there is a balance there is a kind of a solidarity with other people so that we receive the lord positively okay it is right we understand rather than changing the world the best way of changing the world is changing my own heart changing my own life there is a beautiful story of some man who wanted to become changed who wanted to know god who wanted to be in good relationship with the divine so he started moving around going to the different areas different teachers and different schools learning how to become good for years he had his search but he found himself disappointed he went to different teachers he learned different theories he tried to practice different methodologies but he realized he is still filled with lot of evil passions wrong decisions and attitudes and out of his desperate feeling he decided to go to the forest to lonely place to think and pray as he entered the forest some day it was becoming dark he just wanted to spend somewhere in a safe place he found a small cave he thought that is better he entered there as he entered into the cave he found a sage sitting there in silence and prayer then he introduced himself telling that he is a voyager seeking for truth wanting to love god to become a saint then the sage did not listen to him too much but asked this man please just go to the entrance of the cave you will find a lamp there please lit it he took some fire and began to light the lamp but he could never get it lit it after few attempts he found it impossible and he told the sage it doesn't get lighted then the sage told him okay first you should make sure that there is oil in the lamp just check it he checked the lamp and he found that it was full of water so he poured out the whole water and poured oil and began to light it still he could not succeed being desperate he looked back at the sage and the sage told him perhaps the wick would have absorbed the whole water so you let's squeeze out the water from the wick and try out of his need he tried to take out the wick out and squeeze the whole water out and put it in the oil and tried to light it it began to get lit it then putting the light properly on the stand he comes back to sage and continued to narrate his whole story then the sage told him my dear man i have already given you your advice i don't want to hear your this sample story so go and do that namely you have to pour out all the water or the evil desires all the ambitions from your heart and fill it with the oil of divine love excuse your weak your mind your thinking soak it with the oil of divine love then that will get lit it up then you will find the divine and this man was so happy that he could do that so whenever we say that it is not the world that has to be changed but myself how to change myself the first thing is that i have to pour out the water the evil passions the wrong inclinations the sinful attachments skew out the weak and fill it with the divine love it will come up as a glowing fire fire of divine love 
that's the way we have to prepare ourselves to accept the mystery of incarnation of jesus christmas in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen